This is the towelette. And look, these are amazing ingredients. The first acid, I don't know how to say it, that is a peeler of your skin. Well, the first acid will peel your skin. The second one is something that will lighten and brighten your skin. The hydrocortisone reduces pain. The vitamin C brightens your skin and also gets rid of any free radicals on your skin. And the retinoic acid is the same thing. It peels your skin. It's a vitamin A derivative and it is really good. It's a vitamin A derivative and it's really good at peeling your skin and helping increase collagen. So not only do you get the peel the day of, but you get these amazing ingredients in the post peel towelettes. And then the next one that I'll be doing tomorrow morning just has the acid and the vitamin C, which is an amazing way to um, reduce any. The next one I'm gonna be doing the next morning, tomorrow, then the peel I'm gonna be doing tomorrow morning is the post peel towelettes, the last one I'm using it has the acid and the vitamin C, and it's gonna be really good at just increasing collagen and just fighting any um, oxidation. The peel I'm using tomorrow has a retinoic acid and the vitamin C. It's really good at just fighting any free radicals, which are the things that would age your skin and brighten your skin and tighten it as well. So I'm really excited to use this. And she put little numbers on them because she wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. So this is day three. Now this morning I didn't film because I had like no peeling on my face. And then slowly by like 10, I ended up with a little bit here, but not too much. Then by 12, a little bit more, then by one, then by two. And now I'm at this point. So I have my scissors, my nail scissors. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut some pieces off of my face. I wonder if I could do this on camera. So I'm gonna try, gonna try cut off the skin. You're just cutting off the loose skin, like right here. So today I've put on SPF 50, which is right here. So today I put on SPF 50, which is right here. I put it on my entire face and this here is all the new skin that's already peeled off. So you definitely need to use that. My face feels very dry, very itchy. Um, it's starting to itch here and here and they'll probably start peeling tomorrow because last night it was itching here and here and now it's peeling so i think the process is first it starts itching and then it starts peeling so this is the end of day three i'm going to see how i look tomorrow oh and love my hair <laughs> no okay so now it's day four and yesterday was day three and in the morning, my face was pretty normal, and by night, it was starting to peel all here. Now, as after I've washed my face and applied sunscreen, because I'm leaving in a couple of minutes, and it's still peeling here. It started peeling on my nose last night, and this morning, it started peeling on my forehead. I really wanted to peel here, because I have the hyperpigmentation. You can see here it's darker. It got actually darker after the peel, which they said would happen. When you do the peels, it's gonna darken your skin, but it's healing your skin underneath. So this might take a while to come off, but I'm really excited because um, this is really good and this. So anyway, I will see what happens later and what peels. <laughs> Here I am, day four, just out of the shower. That's why my hair is wet. And I just want to show how lovely my skin looks. 
It is peeling on the forehead a lot. This morning it wasn't, and this is the area I was concerned about that wasn't peeling, that now it's peeling. And it's peeling here, it's peeling here. Oh, there's an eyelash. It's peeling everywhere and it's still very red and irritated. I actually put this on it. It's called Calendula Cream. And it's all natural. I got it from Whole Foods. It's, I think it's, um, I think it is, whatever. I think it's like marigold or something. It's some type of flower and it's supposed to soothe and calm your skin. Anyway, I have to say two things. Number one, I don't know how anyone is wearing makeup. I saw a lot of YouTube videos where girls are putting makeup on by the fourth day, fifth day. Uh, even when my face needs to be exfoliated just a little bit and I have a little bit of dry skin, makeup just does not look good over dry flaky skin. And I have darker skin, so I've never actually gotten a sunburn. I got a sunburn once when I had a part, like a long time ago, and I was like, ow, I didn't know what that was. And I was like, oh, I have a sunburn. So my suggestion is do not wear makeup, keep the makeup off your face so you're done peeling. The number two thing is, People really didn't care whether my face looked like this. They didn't care. They were like, I said, oh, excuse me. I know my face is peeling. They were like, whatever. So I'm starting to get more comfort. So I'm starting to get more comfortable walking around with a peeling face. And um, I guess people have seen worse. I don't know. So that's my update for day four. Hello, everyone. So this is day six, the morning of day six. I didn't film anything yesterday because day five looked like day four, except I was really late in washing my face. So right before I went to bed, I washed my face and a lot of that dry skin came off. So it's really funny, I tutor kids and kids are so honest. I had all this dry skin hanging and every little kid who's seen me so far is like, what happened to your face? You got something on your face. So this little kid saw this stuff hanging and I said, I need to go to the bathroom. He goes, when you go to the bathroom, make sure you get that off. So, you know, adults won't, won't look at you weird, but kids will. So this morning when I washed my face, my face pretty much looked like this. There's a little bit of dry skin here, flaking. Um, it's pretty soft right here. It still hurts here and here and it's very dry and my face still hurts a little bit. So that's what I've noticed today. So I'm gonna see how it looks later tonight. So hello everyone, I am in the car right now and I decided to look at my face in the natural light. It's still a little bit peeling and blotchy here and here. It's not that bad. It actually almost looks normal today. And um, yeah, my skin's a little flaking. It looks normal. No, it doesn't. So everyone, this is day seven. I got the peel last Thursday and it's now again Thursday. And this is the result so far. There's a little bit of peeling left. And up there, a little bit of peeling here too and here. And the pain that I was feeling down here, here and here was a lot of pain. It felt, the only way I could describe it is if you blow your nose a lot because you're sick, that irritated, raw, rough feeling that you feel on your nose, that's how my entire lower face felt. I don't know why it peels so badly around here. But anyway, these are the results. It's still peeling a little bit. I'm hoping that it stops in two days and then I can finally start recovering. Um, I heard some, I heard that after the peeling stops, that's when your skin starts recovering. The pH balance goes back to normal and then your skin's gonna start looking radiant and glowing and, and I just can't wait for that. So this might be the last day that I'm gonna show my skin peeling. I don't know. And then I'm gonna start showing the final results. So thank you. So these are my results for my VI peel. I don't know if I like the intensity of it. I didn't like having my skin scaling off like that. I do have to mention something on my skin that was really bothering me during the VI peel. My skin was red, like raw, like if you had 
been outside in the winter for hours and then got a sunburn. Look, I got through it and my skin is beautiful, but I'm just saying for those seven days, I really had a hard time with my skin because it just felt raw and red and hurt so much. It was so itchy and then it hurt. I do have a license in skincare, but I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't know if that would be equal or not. But I almost feel like getting lots of microderm and getting laser would be a better route. I think I'd rather save up money and do lasers or get minor microderm if I get six microderm abrasion instead of a really intense peel. I'm very happy with the results. I definitely think more than one application. I think if you did two or three VI peel, you would probably be very happy. But if you want to get the VI peel just to try it, just to see how it works, I did see an improvement. So that's all I have to say, it's up to you. So those are my opinions on the VI peel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more. And I will also be doing other videos on skincare, how you can save money on a budget. I have a video coming up about lasers, some DIYs, and things like that. So that's all, and have a great day.